Okay, guys, the knife has been etching overnight in coffee. I used coffee as the etchant solution because, I don't know, about three months ago, I was driving down the road with my wife, and she said I smelled like her dad, uh, coffee and steel. He, um, he was a machinist, and he'd come home from work and pretty routinely smelled like coffee and steel. And uh, I drink a lot of coffee and play with steel, so... Uh, I thought that was kind of cool, so I figured for my first knife, I'd etch it in coffee. Here it is. So there's our blade. And we're ready to put a handle on it. Me roughing in the handles on the bandsaw got lost. All right, so knife making or not, this is basically a tool review channel, so let's review the tool. The etch on the Damascus did not take along the handle side. A few tooling marks that show up. I think the spine's real nice. But if you look very carefully down that blade, and I may not show it to you, but you'll notice that this grind is more angular where this side's slightly more smooth and like I say I may not be able to show you that but maybe maybe here no I don't guess it shows up very well at all down here I feel like this uh, you know this is designed to be a pause in the blade basically a divot I feel like that was cut in poorly uh, I need to be more rounded in nature as opposed to gracefully sloped I do like the Damascus myself. I think that light coffee stain, or coffee etch rather, looks pretty lovely. That said, it's extremely subtle, and that is not what people are generally going for when they're going for Damascus. So even though I like it, I'm not sure anybody else would. I think everybody else would prefer a nice ferric chloride etch. Now the handle, I do like this rough kind of notched uh, look to it, you know, very, uh, very rugged looking, you know, like it was, you know, carved with a, another knife. What I don't like, however, is this pin was cut with a pair of wire cutters and is not round where all of the other pins are. So that pin should have been cut with a bandsaw instead of with a pair of pliers. Uh, as far as the blade profile, I think the blade profile is very lovely. I think that the grind came in pretty well as far as the, the, the bevel on the blade. And as far as hardness, the blade took a nice hardness, took a nice heat treat, uh, several normalizing cycles, and then a final heat treat. And it uh, tempered real nice. Overall, as far as functionality, it's a real nice knife. Like I say, it's got some co cosmetic errors that I think I would correct if I was doing them over. But overall, I like it, and uh, my wife likes it. So, here it is.
See, now this is a, this is a sharpness test. See, all that, I'm gonna cut some paper. This knife is not made to cut paper. This is not a damn razor blade. This is a chopping knife, watch this. Now that's a sharpness test. Thanks for watching, subscribe.